Pro Stock is probably, it's been my dream to do since I first seen racing. I love the factory hot rods. I love the idea that the car looks like a, a factory car that you can buy on, um, at any dealership that you want. It's, you know, win on Sunday, buy on Monday type deal. Um, we were fortunate enough to get this car from Justin Humphrey and um, his mom, Virginia. Um, it was an RJ car that they had built for themselves. It's a 2009 Pontiac GXP. Cars worked very well. Wasn't a bad year. It was probably our best year we've had since we've been out here. We qualified once at Epping. Um, our performance level has um, rose a lot this year. We've got a lot more experience. Car came around working. Um, the team and the crew has all gelled very well together. Uh, we can just stop some of the little dumb stuff that we've had going on. We can make a, a big improvement for next year, which we're in the right direction. Getting to the races and um, everywhere that we have to be is a lot. Um, truck leaves usually on Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, depending on our destination. We drive through the night because the crew and I all have full-time jobs. We work all day and then we get in the truck and drive and leave at night, drive through the night to get to the track to get there Thursday to prep the car. Because with all of us working all the time, we usually don't have time during the week to work on the car to do anything else, you know, to the car to get it ready for the next race. So all of our preparation is done at the racetrack on Thursday. Bobby and I are usually there Thursday morning, and we get everything done on the car. So when the rest of the guys get there on um, Thursday night or Friday, the car is ready for the first hit. Um, you know, between Bobby and I working full-time jobs and then driving all night and getting everything else, it usually requires a long weekend for both of us. Uh, we come back from a pass. Um, first thing happens, we get the car back up on the Projax. Once the car is up on the Projax, um, Bobby starts pulling the transmission out to get the clutch out. Bobby has to resurface all three clutch discs in between each round. Um, once Bobby gets the clutch disc out and he's resurfacing, Brad takes the engine apart. We pull the valve covers off. We go through the valve adjustment, make sure we haven't broken any springs. Um, you know, or any rocker arms or anything else is all good in the valve train. Put the engine back together. Uh, I look at the data. Each run, we got a race pack in the car. We pull the chip out as we get back. I go and I go inside the trailer and I look at the run data. I want to see what the car actually did. If the clutch was too tight, the clutch was too loose, we spun the tires, how the front ends react, and if all the EGTs are okay and the O2s are okay on the motor for a fuel system. <clears throat> and then we can make adjustments for there for the next run depending on the weather and the temperature of the track is what we make changes on. In between runs, if we know the weather is going to be the same or worse for the next run or better, we actually take the transmission apart and change each gear ratio in the transmission from first to fifth gear. We can change anything that we want inside. And then, you know, depending on the, the finish line RPM, whether the car has to come through with higher RPM or lower RPM, we can change the rear gear or the tire the diameter on the back of the car. We have larger and smaller tires depending on the weather change so we can come through and we can cross at the specific time that we want to in RPM. Uh, Steve Kent helped us with two races this year. Epping when we hurt our own motor, um, he was kind and gracious enough to bring us over a motor so we could go uh, on, the, on Sunday to race on Sundays because we qualified. And then we hurt the motor again in um, Z-Max and he was gracious enough to lend us a motor for Maple Grove, which was awesome because we really could have did a good job and qualified at Maple Grove. If we just had a few little mistakes that happened, and you know that's part of racing. But we're learning with a new combination and everything else. They make real good horsepower. It's a real good motor. You know we could have did better, but that's you know learning a new curve with a different engine combination it has a totally different tuning window than the one that I'm used to. So we can get used to that. Most of the time when we get to the racetrack, our goal is to qualify. That's our biggest thing. We want to get there, we want to do our best, we want to qualify. Um, by doing that, we need more power. More power, of course, costs more money. So we're working on getting that and you know, helping our marketing partners get there. We've been, been very thankful and blessed with the guys that have been standing behind us, like Pipes Performance, Snap and Turtle, Roger Brogdon, Steve Kent. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that have been behind us helping us out. Tom at 3B Performance has been there for us. LAT Oil, Danny from LAT has been great. You know, getting us to the racetrack and being able to perform. But our main goal was to qualify and race on Sunday.
you know, while we're there with the motor that we've been running, it isn't as good as the rest of the motors out there because we just don't have the money to do it. But in saying that, we've been running well, and each time we go to the race, we're there to qualify. But we're making laps on the car. The more laps we get on the car at each racetrack, we know what the racetrack likes, what the car likes, and it helps us tune in every situation. So the more runs we get, the more data we have, the better off we can make those tuning decisions between me and Bobby with the clutch and the engine and the chassis program, we can get there. Now, saying so, if you know we don't qualify, if we get 17 or 18, at least it gives us enough money to pay for fuel to get to the racetrack and back. If we qualify, that really helps us for the next race of getting there and getting our parts and our materials that we need to keep us racing. My, my goal this year was just to qualify for one race, which we did at Epping. So now next year we want to qualify for four to five races and then go some rounds.